Hello. Hi guys, welcome. So I wanted to unbox this on stream because a year ago, what, what had happened was a year ago, I decided I was gonna do, I can't, this is, this is a waste wearing these. I decided, uh, would you shut up for two seconds? Early last year, I made a sub goal that if I maintained 750 subs all the way until when I move, I would get myself a nice fancy Lamar Zoko espresso machine. You might notice that this says Ascaso. That's because weren't even close to 750 subs. Not even a little bit, barely touched it. I think we might have hit 750 for a day. This is about a third the price, but it's still expensive. You still have to fund this. You're the reason I'm opening this on stream. So thank you. And also here it is. Warranty void without original packaging. Well, I'm supposed to keep this packaging around? In case you didn't know what it was. This was sitting out, so they mailed this to the wrong address. I, I may have put the wrong address. It was sitting outside my parents' house. Espresso coffee machine right on it, and the top, for some dumb reason, says, oh, I can't even open it. Open it up. Oh, there's a giant staple in there. Okay, dude, all right, dude. Is this all necessary? Good to know if somebody's gonna rob me, they'd have just as hard of a time opening it. High claim item. Thanks, dude. Let, let all my neighbors know this is an expensive thing. Oh, baby. Ooh, ah. You need to get a white grinder now? Don't remind me. They make that, they make this, they make this in white, and I'm an asshole, and I got the black one. This is gonna get so dirty so quick. Now, I think this is too tall to even, like, I could put it under my cabinet, but I don't think cups will fit up here. This is the cup warmer. It heats up, the top heats up when the thing's on. I can't afford espresso. Nespresso's good enough, right? Whatever tastes good. That's, what, that's all I'll say. Whatever tastes good to you, doesn't matter. This is the drip tray. This is where all the water goes when you drip. Let's hear it, Bob. Why'd you get an Escasa over a Linea Micra? You mean a Lamar Zoco? Because it's fucking expensive. There's a lot of money. I didn't even know this Linea Micra existed. What the hell? I didn't even know this was a thing. The fuck is this? When did this come out? Never heard of this thing. This is still half the price of that though. When did this come out? End of last year, you motherfucker. But I mean, if Escasso still have the price, a deal's a deal, a deal's a deal. You're right. Is what you have better than what Wood has? Wood has that, this one, but uh, with a grinder in it. And then he got a real fancy grinder. Let's open this. Yes, yeah, so, okay, I was worried this didn't come with a tamper, but here, oh my God, this is light. Looks like a dumbbell, but it's light as hell. It's an ugly tamper too. There's all the brew baskets and the um, porta filter and a little, little coffee scoop. We're not gonna use any of this stuff. I bought a different porta filter and a VST basket that's like a little, the, the baskets have little holes in it. And this has like, the holes are supposed to be more uniform. This one was pretty nice though. The difference. This one is bottomless. This one's not. I like I like the bottomless because I love making a mess. I love bottomless too, but not in the same way as Bob. Okay, dude. All right, buddy. Literally said, I hope Bob does a weird and wacky today. Here I am. Your wish has come true. Ooh, baby. All right. What are we looking like around here? Okay. We're just going in, huh? All right. Ooh, look at that. Should I be reading instructions? Like, I feel like I got it, you know? That thing's actually cute, oh my God. Hannah approved so far. She could come look at it, but she's too lazy. Uh, so it starts off in Spanish, that's good. I can't read that. Technical features, startup diagram, on switch. Now I got massive power issues in this house. I'm terrified to plug this thing in, but that outlet is one of them switcher guys. You know what I'm talking about? It's got a little button on it. So, worst comes to worst, I hit the button. Where's Zim's little GoPro harness cam? Well, funny you say that. Imagine. 
check that the voltage is the same as that indicated on the what voltage what are you fucking talking about one coffee two coffee we're always doing two coffee all right there's only four buttons on the thing let's just send it so what i've been doing with this guy is i've got my cabinet water just purified water that i leave in the cabinet which i heard you're not supposed to do because it can get moldy but what do you think this is this is just room temperature water with a filter in it. So what's the difference? Is there a scientist around? Somebody tell me what the difference is? Sounds the same to me. I should probably wash, I should probably rinse this out first. I also have distilled water, but uh, I'm not prepared yet. I'm not prepared to make that jump yet. Look near the power cable if there's a voltage switch. Thrill has said it should be at the bottom, and I think you're both right. What? All right, what do we got? Oh my God, I gotta flip the whole thing upside down. Cabinet water is in a darker room so the oxygen builds when stepping outside. What? what? It's inside. <laughs> All right, let me take off anything that's gonna fall when I put it on its head. No switch, no switch. Worst case is it's 220 volts and it just doesn't work. <laughs> it's not, it, it, uh, it has this, it, it says, uh, this adapter is rated up to, oh no, it's the adapter though. It'll fucking work, dude. Let's, let's go. Do you need to see my face? Is it okay if you don't see my face? So this espresso machine is going to my parents, but it's going to my parents because when I'm there and you make me go get Dunkin' for them, I'll have my own coffee. Um, I put it on this little thing. So when I have to get to the back of it, I can just pull it out. Hopefully this one still fits on that. This I need to clean before I get rid of it. I'll do that later. When we finally set this thing up, we're gonna be wasting a lot of coffee because it's gonna take a lot of coffee to dial it in right. And I only have one bag, so it's possible we run out of coffee. All right, I'll try to put it on here. I don't have a lot of faith that it's gonna fit on there. Oh God, it's heavy, oh God. Oh, it fits. What were you guys worried about? It fits just fine. You know what, I'm gonna plug this directly in to the wall. I just can't put any cups on top. Oh wait, I can put cups on top. I can so put cups on top. Look at that. Cup, cup on top, look at that. Oh, we need the drip tray, what am I doing? I'm gonna drip everywhere. I want this to be more to the left because I got to pull it out far enough where I can fit the water. Hopefully I don't have to do anything with these. Nope, I hit my grinder. Oh no. That's a bit of a pain in the ass. Might have to move the grinder over to the left. Grinder might have to move. Why not do it now? I, when I had the old espresso machine over here, it would splash coffee all over the wall. So this is probably better. How's that? You like that better or worse? This mass of cables right here. Oh boy, don't let the electrician see that next week. Okay, we're good. I'm ready to turn it on. I'm gonna turn it on. And we back up. Where's my fire extinguisher? So I guess that's it heating up the temperature, which is good. I don't know what the default settings are, or, or I'm assuming just right out of the box, I should be good to start pouring some espresso. So I have a really nice, uh, I got a bunch of scales. I like this one. This is a Timor scale, uh, a Timor scale, but it broke. And they sent me a new one to my old apartment even though I gave them my new address. I don't understand how they did that. I don't know where these people get these wacky addresses from. I very clearly told them my right address. It says it in the email. It says my address and they sent it to Brooklyn anyway. Uh, 
So I've been using this Hario one that I think Will got me, which is very nice. It's just as good. The only reason I like the, the, the time war is because uh, it it starts timing. It starts a timer when it detects like a change in weight. So it's nice for that. Is that 100 degrees? Is that what that means? What you use your brew ratio. Um, I do 18 grams of coffee in. So this is set to 18 grams. So if I just hit play, it'll just pull down 18 grams. Um, I do 18 grams of coffee and then 36 grams out of here. And then I use an eight ounce cup and I fill the rest with milk. I think it's two grams of espresso. No, two ounces of espresso and six ounces of milk. I think that's what it is. That I don't know, but what I know for sure is this is 18 grams and this is pulls out 16 grams. So it's a double shot. And I try to hit somewhere around 25 seconds. Somewhere between 25 and 30 seconds. Somewhere between 20 and 30 seconds. That would be a cappuccino. You did. Is that a Wolf Den cup? No, this is a Wolf Den cup. There's a lot of room up here. I like that. All right, let me flush some water out, I guess. Do I have to hold it? Oh, so it starts a timer. That's pretty cool. I shouldn't have to hold it. Here we are. Let's see if this works. There it goes. Oh my God, this is vibrating like crazy. All right. Not putting this up there. <laughs> Can it run emulators? Uh, maybe on this little thing. Oh, so it stopped. Why did it stop at 25? Is that where I stopped it before? Oh, did I set it? Oh, I set it by doing that. Okay. Hold up. I think by holding it, I set the time I wanted. I'm gonna set it for like 35 because I want to be able to stop it myself. Because sometimes I'll let it go a little longer if it means the amount hits 36 grams, you know? All right, so that's pretty cool. That's that you just like set it. So if I was in like an actual like coffee shop and I knew the exact coffee that I was gonna use every single time, I could set a time on here and just hit it once and it would always do that time. That's pretty cool. But I'm always gonna be doing different coffees, so I'm not gonna do that. That's a funny looking Lamar Zocco, you shut up. I just learned there was a cheaper Lamar Zocco that came out and I'm a little pissed off. Let's shoot out some steam. I'm most excited about the steam because the steam one on the Breville is horrible. This is taking a long time. Oh, I have to do this, I'm dumb. It's taking a while to get up to like steam there. That is a that is a lot of steam though. That is that's a little scary. I think it's supposed to be like, yeah, you could touch all over. It's not gonna get hot except for the tip. That's cool. That's cool. So now if I just hit this, will it just start going or does it have to I mean at least it doesn't shoot out water like the Breville does. It shoots water out before it actually starts. And then this is like a this little part right here is good for like, uh, if I want to just make like a matcha or something. It just just spits out hot water. Cool. It's the Americano lever, the only good coffee. You're an idiot. <laughs> Let's make a coffee, huh? I'm like nervous. Why am I nervous? Why am I nervous to do this? This basket, look at how much bigger this basket is than my old one. This is the new basket. This is like the standard 58 millimeter size. This is the Breville. It's 54 millimeters. The same amount of coffee is going into it, but still, very strange. This has coffee all over it. Don't mind the mess. The mess is supposed to be contained into this box. That's why the box exists. And hopefully this fits. Oh my God, it barely fits. So that did exact, oh, it did 18.2. Oh, tisk tisk. That's fine. What milk do you typically use for lattes? Uh, oat milk. Might do regular, I, I, at night sometimes I'll do regular milk.
guys want to see the the, uh, the uh the preparation the puck they call this the puck prep now this is a lot bigger i don't have all the tools <laughs> to handle how big this one is i do have my wdt here so i can distribute it a little better there you go I had this little distribution tool you like spin and it distributes the coffee evenly but uh this is a bigger thing so and i have the stupid the stupid tamper that came with it i don't know where my norm core one is supposed to be here today why didn't this fit it's very upsetting wood might be getting a new a brand new knock box out of me that's a good, a little messy. <laughs> Why is it so messy? There you go. That's beautiful. Beautiful tamp right there. All right, so this will probably be fucked up. This will probably be a little fucked up, but let's let it happen. This might spray everywhere. Let's do it in a regular cup, because I might just straight up drink it if it's a good shot. Where's my, there we go, my scale. Okay, uh, let's go. It's already, already messy backsplash there. And we're too coarse. How do we stop it? way too coarse so that was 18 seconds and we're at 50 grams of coffee <laughs> so that's no that's no good but you know we knew we were gonna make mistakes so and this is the downfall of having a bottomless border filter maybe i should actually use the knock box today I usually just throw it right into the garbage, but uh, now I guess I'll knock it right into the knock box. That's what it's here for. All right, so we're making mistakes so we can dial it in. So we made a mistake. We gotta go way finer. So I'm gonna do two notches up, two whole notches up. The Normcore tamper that I got makes it so it has a spring in it, so you always do the same amount of pressure every time. There you go. All right, round two. Did we nail it? Let's see. How much water I got left? I used a little more than half the tank already. Oi, Bob. So I don't really need to be timing it because it times it there, but it doesn't time it from the drip. This looks a lot better. This might be too fine. At least now it's not spilling out the back. Ah, uh, it's spilling out the front though. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. This is good. This is a good time. Oh, I went a little over. Did 40 grams and about 28 seconds. You know what though? I'm not mad about it. I would drink that and I'm going to. I'm gonna dial this in though um, to compensate for next time. So when I make my coffee tomorrow or if I make another one now, uh, I want it to be a little coarser. Yeah, so I'm gonna use, so this has, this grinder has like the top settings and then has like even finer settings. So it has one through thir 31, and then it has A through I. So you do a grind size of nine, and then you can adjust it even finer by doing the, 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 the letters. It's basically like doing 9.6, like I did a 9.6. That's what I did. Anyway, we're making our coffee stale now by, by 
chit-chatting. Should we do oat? We'll do oat milk today, because I, I normally do oat milk, so we'll just do more oat milk. Purge the wand. Is it going to shoot milk everywhere? Let's see. I gotta find the spot. Oh, this is gonna go quick. Oh my god. The milk is my weakest part, so it's gonna take a lot of getting used to. Can I do some lot there? It looks like I made it like extra foamy. We made a cappuccino with the dead boys. Eh. Tried to make a heart for you guys. Ah, I'm gonna spill it all over my floor. Tried. Tried to do it for you. All right, moment of truth. How does this go? Well, it's cold already. <laughs> I guess I waited too long. It's very good though. It's uh, there's like no bitterness at all. What coffee are you drinking? I am drinking Flux because I ran out of my trade coffee. So I went to a local Long Island place. It's like the only like artisan coffee place in, in central Long Island. You got places on the South Shore, you got places on the North Shore, but in the central Long Island, you got fuck all. This is very good. Hannah, come try it. Uh, what? You, you won't be on camera. Yay. I might have to raise the temperature of this thing because it's got cold real quick. I want it to be boiling hot when it comes out. If you past this point, you'll be on camera. Oh, you're on camera now. Here. What, uh, what flavor is this? Just regular. Regular? That's what I drink. It came out a little quick. Do you want a coffee? Um, uh, not right now. Oh, is it? Good. Yeah. <laughs> so what I've, what I've been making, uh, let's show everybody, let's show everybody the, the menu. Hold on, they said you gotta fix my mic. What's wrong with the mic? Are you, is she quiet? Hello. Talk loud. I love coffee. Hello? Yeah, she's just quiet, dude. I'm loud think, and she's not, so. I think my voice has a frequency that's just not picked up by me. It's, it's, yes. That's pretty, that's pretty cute, that thing. My, my. No, not you. <laughs> that? Yeah. I know. Very uh, it's very, I just learned mm -hmm. that there is, there exists a cheaper Lamar Zocco. Really? Yeah, I learned that today when I unboxed that. So look at my menu. Look at, look at the menu I've made. These are your options. Bob's Big Bean. You got pour over, you got espresso, you got cappuccino, you got latte, you got oat latte. I put it in yellow just so, cause that's like the one that I have every day. It's the one I think everybody should, should get. Mm -hmm. I got a cortado, I got a macchiato, I got an Americano. And then I have, you can have hot or ice on either of them. You can have a regular or decaf on either of them. Although I have to defrost the decaf because I never have decaf. And we got whole and oat milk. Yeah, we do. Are we out of, we might actually be out of milk. And then we got flavors. We got mocha, we got caramel, we got vanilla, we got peppermint muck. Because I couldn't fit it. We got, oh, this is this is a new addition. This is the new the, our new favorite in this house. Okay. <laughs> Spice no pumpkin. I came up with that myself. Spice no Check pumpkin. it out. Check it out. I have a I have a shelf in the fridge of all different syrups. I made this syrup. It's Coca Cola. No. <laughs> I made this syrup. It is uh, fifty percent sugar and fifty percent water. And what I did was I I took chai. What are you touching me for? <laughs> I took chai tea. Four bags of chai tea, put it in a cup of water, boiled it up. Then I put sugar in it. So this is chai tea simple syrup. 
And then you put that in your coffee. And then on top you put, I can't open this drawer because I'll fuck everything up. But you put a little pumpkin spice on top. It's spice, no pumpkin. I would want to see the spice store. I know, but I can't. I'll do it at the end. Why are you keep touching me? <laughs> he wants one. Don't you touch me. Oh, we're not done. Uh, hazelnut, because I have hazelnut simple syrup. Maple, which is maple syrup. Uh, cinnamon dolce, which is just cinnamon and caramel. And choco orange. That's a new, that's a new favorite. I just put a little, there's a slice of chocolate orange you put in it, you pour the espresso on top. Mm -hmm. And then matcha and chai tea. You want a matcha? She likes matcha. Yeah, you made me a strawberry matcha yesterday. How was the strawberry matcha yesterday? It was good. You're goddamn right. I think you could put a little bit more strawberry. I actually left a couple strawberries out. You can't have coffee. Really? You're not old enough. You should use the toffee Terry's slice. I used a Terry's slice of orange with the toffee shit. What are you talking about? Same thing, but it has toffee bits. Toffee in, how do we feel about that? Toffee bits in a chocolate orange. Do you like your creme brulee crumbles, you made? Oh yeah, I made creme brulee, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get them. They're stuck. Oh, we're running out. They're stuck. I gotta make more. Get out, get, you're gonna fall. I, I, how did I do this? Sugar? You just baked sugar, basically. I just put sugar in a baking sheet like a with sheet. a little bit of salt, I think, and you just yeah. melt it in the oven and it turns into these like little like caramel crumbles. And I just sprinkle these on top of a caramel Crumble latte away. sometimes. You wanna, does Zim get a puppuccino? Fine. <laughs> now I'll teach everybody how to make a puppuccino. You ready? Oh, he knows. How does he know? There's like barely any in this. Make sure he does it towards the camera. The puppuccino. <laughs> He's standing on his back legs. Look at him. <laughs> He's so excited. Come here. Come here. He's gonna throw up immediately after this. <laughs> that is kind of a lot. This is what. That's how much they give him at Starbucks. Look at his face. Right, that's that's enough. That's enough for you. I'm uh very happy with uh, what we've accomplished here. You need? Do we need a? Okay. And I only I only really sacrificed one cup of coffee. I'm leaving. Okay. Bye. You taking him? Okay. You gonna jump? Come, come, come. Yeah. So we only sacrificed one cup of coffee, really, and I drank the other one. So it was a massive, epic success because I thought we were gonna run through a lot of coffee today. Zim's back because he thinks there's food for him here. Zim, you've had enough. So yeah, this was a this was a big success because uh, we didn't waste we wasted one cup of coffee. That was it. You know, I told Hannah I wanted to get a Mexican Coke just for the bottle, and she was like, "We don't see those anywhere." And I was like, "Yeah, they got them at like stores and stuff. We'll get it the next time we see one. We'll just get one." And then the next day we got Chipotle, and I saw it on the website. So it was three dollars and fifty cents, but let me put this in the fridge before I. Where it goes in bed. Oh, here's you want to see. Is we're showing, telling more coffee stuff here. I might retire this, but peppermint mocha. I might retire. I, no one ever has peppermint mocha. Or like separated. Yep. Peppermint mocha, and then I made vanilla, but I I used wild powder, wild vanilla powder instead of extract. So I saw blueberry tweet about it, and it's too thick. So I can't use the pump. I had to put like one of these little wine top pour things. This is old, I gotta get rid of this. This is peppermint uh, chocolate, chocolate peppermint mocha syrup. I'm gonna have to clean that stupid thing every time because if, if any coffee splashes on the back. Who said that that portafilter is uglier? That portafilter is so much nicer. Look at this thing, look at, look at how big, look at this. Oh, I have to clean this too. Who said that this one looked nicer? 
Look at the, sh the shape you got. I can't hold it. It's hot. I can't hold it. <laughs> Look at that. It's nicer. Fuck you. So what I need to learn how to do is change the temperature because I feel like it might need it. You know what? I'm going to let it, I'm going to just use it for a couple days and then see how I feel about the temperature because the coffee tasted good. It just was cold pretty instantly. Maybe it's because you guys distracted me though. That's a possibility. Uh, the other thing I wanted to fix was uh, we learned that this sets the time and I want to make it a lot longer than I did before because it doesn't start the time. It starts the timer instantly. It doesn't start it from when it starts pouring. And I'd rather it start from when it starts pouring. I'm gonna shoot it up to like 40 seconds because I want to stop it myself. So I'm programming the timer that's in there. Nope, 39 I did. Oops, whatever. When are you going to the Barista Championships? 33 seconds was when you stopped it last pour, so that should work. I did 30. Well, that's good to know. Thank you for keeping track of that. Uh, I programmed it at 35, so maybe I should leave that 30. I'm going to use it for like a week and see where, where I want it to actually stop. The other one learned to stop almost exactly at 36 grams every time. I don't know that it doesn't have a timer on it, so I don't know when it would go till, but once I hit 36 grams, it usually turns itself off. I try to turn it off myself, but, and it doesn't do the same amount of time every time. How hard is it to adjust the pressure? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Everything here is default. Actually, yeah, we should learn. Let's. What is the pressure? It should be nine bars. I haven't actually looked at the pressure that comes out of it. Oh, hi, Wood. You missed everything. We made the coffee already. It tastes delicious. A little cold, though. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I want to see the how much pressure comes out. This is not moving. The pressure gauge is not moving. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Why? Why is it not moving? Very weird. Does the pressure not reflect the water being forced through the grind? Yes, it does. Oh, you're so smart. <laughs> no wonder the pressure's doing There's no coffee in there. I'll, I'll, so I'll check it tomorrow when I make another cup. I don't want to waste any more coffee. This is freezing cold now. It gets cold so quick. Spice drawer? All right, fine, dude. I'll show the goddamn spice drawer. This is fun. This was still pretty much funded by Twitch. So this was like a little bit of a celebration. So thank you is what I'm trying to say. I'm not good at this type of thing. I'm not good at thanking people. Thank you. And before we go, I will show you the spice drawer. Okay, I gotta do this so I won't break anything. Wow, wow, pumpkin pie spice. Wow. Oh, did you say you wanted, did you say you wanted ginger? Wow, incredible. All right, goodbye.